Okay, so I've had a request to go through some, um, some reacting masses questions to do with moles. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to go through a worked example here. Um, so in the booklets, this is task 13, question 4. Um, and the reason I chose this one is because the, the phrasing in the booklet is a little bit misleading um, and it makes it seem more complicated than it actually is by using um, sort of big vocab and things like that. Now, you, what you need to be able to do for the exam is to be able to see through that vocab and to break it down into its simpler components. So this is um, a summary, sort of, basically of, of the question, where it says, what mass of silver chloride uh, will be produced from 2.67 grams of aluminium chloride? Okay, that's the basic summary of this question. We're given the balanced symbol equation for this as well, and we're also given the um, molecular masses, uh, so the, the relative atomic masses for uh, aluminium chloride and silver, because they're the important ones. Now, for, for these sort of questions, you just need to do the same method, the same process each time. You need to break it down into three or four simple steps that will allow you to attack these questions in, a, in an appropriate way. So the very first thing we're going to do um, by looking at this is we're going to first of all pick out what it is that we know and what it is we're trying to find out. Okay, so we're told we have 2.67 grams of aluminium chloride. So 2.67 grams. And we want to find out the mass of the silver chloride. So we're kind of forgetting about these other two things here. Okay, we're focusing in now on what it is we need to know about. The second thing we need to do is, which is very important as well, is to determine what are our molar ratios here. So what are, what are we working with in terms of molar ratios? Um, so we've got one mole of aluminium chloride um, reacting with three moles of silver nitrate to produce uh, one mole of aluminium nitrate and three moles of silver chloride. Now we're interested in that one and this one. Okay, those are the two things we need to know about. Now, that molar ratio of 1 to 3 is really important, and we'll come back to that uh, in a little bit to find out why. We're basically going we're to use that information to bridge across from what we know to what we're trying to find out. So, right, so we've figured out what it is that we know already and what we're trying to find out, and we've worked out our molar ratio. It's very simple so far. And the next thing we do is we're going to call upon our, um, our triangle uh, to kind of help us out with determining what's what. So let's just jot this down here. So we've got max in the top. And we've got the animals in the bottom, so we've got the moles and the ram on the bottom. Moles, relative atomic mass. So, okay, so we can start now. We've got our basis. We can start now to figure out the, this question. We're going we're to work through it. So, um, first step then, we need to work with what we've got. So, we know we've got 2.67 grams of aluminium, aluminium chloride. Um, so, we're going to work out what moles we have then, okay, of this. So, the moles of this are going to be the mass divided by the relative atomic mass. So, let's go to that. Moles of aluminium chloride is going to be equal to the mass divided by the relative atomic mass. Uh, we know that the mass is 2.67 grams that we're working with, and we can work out the relative atomic mass because we've got one aluminium and we've got three chlorines, and when we work that out, we've got uh, 133.5. So we've got a nice 0.02 moles of aluminium chloride. Okay, so that's sort of the main, the first step of our actual proper calculation now. So 0.02 moles of that. Now, this is where our molar ratio comes back in, and we said um, it's in a ratio of one to three. So that means that if I've got, if I've got um, 0.02 moles of, of, of aluminium chloride, then the moles of silver chloride is going to be three times 0.02, which is going to, obviously going to be 0.06 moles. So I know now from this that I've got 0.06 moles of that. So it's kind of the second point. We've formed a bridge now where we're going over to the other slide. So we know how many moles we have of this. We can work out its relative atomic mass. And so we can work out what its mass is. So that's going to be the final thing we're going to do. We've bridged over. So we want to know the mass. The mass of silver chloride is going to be equal to the number of moles, which is 0.06, 0.06, times by its relative atomic mass, which again we can work out. Silver is 108, chlorine is 35.5. Uh, when we do that, that's 143.5. Um, and then when we times that out, we get 8.61 grams of silver chloride. So that's the max, that's the answer. That's the max of that produced from 2.67 grams of that. 
So we've done this section, that section, that section. So there's basically four main things you need to do with these questions. First of all, you need to be able to figure out what it is you've got and what it is you're trying to find out. You've got to figure out what the molar ratios are between the different chemicals we're looking at, because that's very important. And once you've got that molar ratio, you can use that as a bridge to uh, get across. Because obviously this triangle tells us that if you know two things, you can always figure out the third thing. So uh, the first section of the calculation then is to work out how many moles of this you've got. Then you can use our molar ratio to bridge across, and we can work with the mass of something else. So it's quite simple when you break it into those three or four simple parts.